Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, baby girl. How was work? Ugh, it was awful. My last call lasted over an hour, and the manager was complaining. Oh, that does sound bad. Can I get you something to eat? Sure. I have got your favorite glazed donut. Leave it up to my dad to know how to turn my day around. You know, I remember when you were little, we used to eat these at least twice a week because of a bad day at school. That's because all the boys, they were always trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> well, that's not what your teacher said. Besides, I know my stubborn, strong-headed girl. You were a handful. That was years ago. <laughs> I've grown up since then. But I'll still take my donut. Mm-hmm. I know you're grown up now, but you're still daddy's little girl. Listen, Cheryl, we need to talk about your sister. Dad, I don't want to talk about your daughter. I've said everything I need to about her. Cheryl, sit down. That is still your sister. And I know you guys have fights and arguments, and I try not to step in, but this has gone on too long. Dad, Candy said some nasty things about me. That's not a good way to be a sister. She was saying stuff all over social media and airing our family business. She was being mad disrespectful. I don't get in between y'all's business and I definitely don't do that social media crap. I know family. That's all we've got. Well, Candy started it. She's too old to be acting so childish and messy. Cheryl, I don't care who started it. What I'm telling you is to fix it. Dad, why do I have to fix it if I didn't start it? Why do I always have to be the bigger person? Because Candy is sick, okay? Her cancer is back. She started her treatments and with COVID around, uh, it puts her in a very sensitive category. Dad, Candy had cancer when she posted that stuff on social media and I asked her to delete it and she didn't. Nobody asked her to be the bigger person. She was sick and still being messy. Baby, I know she was sick, but she was probably just scared and lashing out to those closest to her. She didn't mean any of that. Why does she get a pass because she's sick? How am I supposed to feel about the stuff that she said about me? Am I just supposed to forget it? Right now, Cheryl, it's just the right thing to do. We need to make peace in our family. There's so many people dying out there right now. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. Dad, I love you and I respect you, but I'm not doing it. Candy has always been mean to me, even since we were little girls. I'm not doing it this time. I know the two of you have never been that close, but I think you're gonna regret not fixing this while you still have time. Guilt is a heavy load, and I've always taught you guys to stick together. I mean, seeing people burying their loved ones every day, that should be motivation enough to forgive and forget. Look, Dad, if she wanted to fix things, she would have apologized and done that. I'm not doing it. Not this time. Goodbye. <laughs> Dad. Cheryl. I'm so sorry. Oh. I was being so childish. I'm sorry it took me so long. I know. It's okay. Look. Cheryl's treatments have been helping, but she's contracting an infection and she wants to talk to you. Go talk to your sister, okay? Cheryl, I've been waiting for you. Hey, sis. Come sit down.
clothes, your protector, and your bodyguard. I used to beat everyone up for my sister. <coughs> I never meant to cause you any pain. When you did truly hurt me, I trusted you with my secrets, with my fears, my weaknesses. I never thought you would take advantage of that trust. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I would never want to hurt you intentionally. You're my best friend. <coughs> I love you. To the moon and back. I love you too. And I'm sorry I wasn't there for your treatments. But I promise I was praying for you. I know. Dad told me. <coughs> I don't have much time. And I know I can't leave here until we fix our bond. <coughs> I want you to have these. They're my journals from ninth grade. Yeah. <coughs> they have my thoughts and, <coughs> and feelings <coughs> and things I haven't been able to say out loud. I don't want you to leave. I need you to fight. I just got you back in my life. I need my sister. You'll be okay. <coughs> you need to be strong for dad. He's gonna need you. <coughs> I need you. Look at the journals. Candy? Candy? Dad? Candy? Dad? Dad? The moral of the story is, life is extremely short. Some things are more important than others, like forgiveness. Being the bigger person is not showing weakness. It shows growth. Family is what you make it. Love each other while you still can. <laughs>